that's fine. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome again uh, to the video. And uh, today we've got Suyash beside us. And Suyash uh, has a little bit of history of driving in his own country in India. And, uh, but he's never driven in the UK before. But this is our third lesson. And the reason why I thought it'd be a good idea to do a, a video today is because we came to the test center from a, an area that I picked Suyash up. And he's making a lot of faults in relation to observations. Observations uh, in relation to traffic lights, road markings, lanes, and maybe a little bit of understanding and awareness uh, how we are, what lanes were, we generally use uh, in the UK, especially approaching roundabouts. Because if the left lane's available, we should be using it. Um, a lot of people, when they learn to drive, they think that if the right lane's going ahead as well, then we can use that too. But the only certain times of the day and during certain restrictions, uh, we, we should really be using that lane. On a driving test, we would normally be using the left, but anyway, we'll come to that later. Um, but what we're going to do, we've came up to the test centre, and I've ran through some of the faults that Suyash had made uh, coming up here. And Suyash has asked all the questions, and so we're quite happy. Uh, his control is very good, and uh, there are a few minor things uh, that can distract his control. He might make a mistake with gears or something like that, because we could be concentrating on something else. So. An observation can sometimes completely destroy your control because it's a multitask thing, yeah? So what we'll do is we'll take a drive down. I'm going to do a commentary drive on the lane. This is where I think it could be helpful to you. So we're going to follow the test standard of driving all the way back to where uh, we started the, the lesson. So we're going to finish there. Uh, it only takes about 15, 20 minutes to get back. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy Okay, so you're quite happy? Yep, right. Now, just a little reminder, so you actually your wiper's on the right hand side. Yep. So if you if you use your right finger and just click down the wiper, just keep it there. It should be fine. Now, if you want to just wipe the rear wiper, mm -hmm. uh, the rear window, I should say, what yep. to do is take the stick with your thumb and fingers and just twist it forward and back again. And then back again. That's it. That's it. And yep. just leave it like That's that. Better. The other way of doing it is you can pull it back and forward again. It gives it also a little wash like that. See that? Yeah. Yeah. And so that's fine. Okay. So we're going to move off from here. Uh, we're going to take the car up to the end of the road here, so yes, and we're turning right at the end of the road. Now, that's fine where you are. You're taking the first gear. So what's the next in line? Well, just we do all around. You'll check to see if it's safe. Okay, yeah. and then. Blind spot, signal, and handbrake. That's good. Always, it's good to, you know, just to think about the routine. Check your mirror's interior right here and signal up for right. You've got first gear. Slow down and look up both roads to see if it's safe to go. And just follow the road in. You need to steer a bit sooner because of the red car that's parked there. Good. And once you've straightened up and you've arrived, you check your mirror, make sure your signal's cancelled, and you proceed. So from the test centre here at Curry, roundabout number one, we've got the Curry roundabout. We will turn right here. So you do your mirrors first and signal, which is good. Start steering left a little bit here, and then you can check your position. Keep yourself on the right hand side which is good ease off the gas just to give you time because you need time to check your left mirror and signal good 20 mile an hour you can see in the lamppost there the car parked in front of you so what do we do first before we go past we do your mirrors but signal is not necessary in this occasion that's good keeping an eye on your speed Second gear is also probably more beneficial because of the the speed bumps there. The speed breakers, usually we go over uh, speed bumps between 10 and 15. Now it's very important here to understand that many people fail their test coming down here because they start accelerating and then they see that 40 sign. 
you've got to re remember that it's 20, it's still in force right up to that 40 sign. In fact, there's a marking going right across the road where you would probably check your mirrors and then you can accelerate up to 40. There's an adverse camber sign here. This means that the road is falling away in the opposite direction of your steering, but we can chat about that later. But it's mainly a double bend. I would say that 30 mile an hour through the bends here are probably sufficient. Now once you get through the hazard, you can have a, a look in your mirror behind to see what's behind you and we're following the next roundabout. Now the next roundabout's Harriet Watt, okay? So your speed's good at the moment, so I would check my interior mirror and I would start getting the control of the speed, so I would slow down. Now you can't really see the lanes here, so I would slow down a bit more, so yes, don't change gears just yet. And you have to use the right hand lane to go ahead on this one. Okay? So you would take second gear just approaching. And you can see the right the left lane goes left only on this one. Can you see that? Yes. So keeping right to go ahead. No signals required. Keep on the right to go ahead. Now then, check your left mirror. Now we have to signal to exit the roundabout, yeah? Good. Check your mirror off the gas just to get around the corner. Don't cancel your signal just yet. If it doesn't do it automatically, you can just put your finger out and put it on. Good. Next roundabout is the parking ride. Again, it's a right lane to go ahead. So check interior mirror off the gas and slow down. I want you to look at the white markings on the road and you can see the correct route that you need. Your gear is good. Your gear is good, and this you need a bit of gas to go on. And as you steer right, you check your left mirror here and signal. And just keep to the white line on the right here because the left goes nowhere there. Keep on the right. You can see Edinburgh A71. The blue circle route, you don't count it, so it'll be the third exit. Check your mirror signal right and bring your speed right down. Okay, just breaking. As you're f making your final approach, you can pop it into first gear and put your signal back on again. Now, if you look left, you'll see the lights just changing now, so take gas and bite now, and then follow the traffic lights. Now, this is Hermiston, and this is a spiral roundabout, yeah? So this is the first exit you're passing now, so second gear. I want you to come out as if you're going to the second exit. Come over here a bit and then go round to Edinburgh like I was telling you. So you signal left now. So that requires a little bit of training on these particular uh, roundabouts. We need to specifically discuss Hermiston called our bank head junction, but we'll do that on another occasion, guys. So we've came out and avoided the bus lane because of the cyclists is in here. But if you check your mirror now, interior left, drift across, you don't really need a signal. Good. We're going ahead for city centre, which is the second exit again. And then just hold back a little bit. Just be prepared to stop in case the lights do change on you. Left hand up and keep well left, keep well left. So you don't want to go over these white dots there. That's good. Well done. Now to exit the roundabout, what mirrors do we check? Interior left and brake. So that's good. Keep your hands on the steering wheel when you're stopping suddenly like that because there's no gear necessary. Handbrake first, then you can take first gear and then you can look across the road and see the green light there. See that green? Yeah. Now when that's changing, you know that your lights will be next. See it changing now? So you look at your traffic light so that, so that you can be prepared. It's just an early morning. Can you see the speed of the road? Yeah. What's the speed here? 40. Good. Cancel your signal or people think you're turning left here. Keep an eye on your speed, see if you can get to the speed because there's nothing in front of you. The road conditions are 
are good so therefore we can uh, we can do the speed of the road let's put this up a little bit sorry about that roundabout going ahead what's the first thing we do approaching at the sign you should be doing your mirrors and signaling but we're going ahead so check your mirrors and bring your speed down you do not need a gear because it's going red and look at the lane where's the lane taking you to the center lane doesn't it you can see why it's doing that because that lane there is a left turn only so this is the thing i was talking about awareness guys is uh, being aware of each roundabout especially in the area that you're in left mirror first and then a signal yeah So that was Bankhead Junction back there. You're still signalling. That was Bankhead Junction back there. And uh, and it's also the end of all the little spirals and problem roundabouts. The next two roundabouts we've got Sight Hall and we've got Longstone. Uh, they're just the standard drive. But remember, do your mirrors. And then you start braking at the sign. And bring your speed down. What I do, see that arrow we're passing now? Mm -hmm. I usually take second gear about there. And then if I use my clutch, I can decide if I can keep going or if I'm going to stop. See? It gives you time to make a decision. As you're steering, you can check your left mirror and you can exit. Good. So that, it certainly helps an awful lot if you've got good control of the car. It's just you've now got to uh, get into the habit of using the routines at the correct times and following the, you know, the the, the traffic lights, the road markings, etc. Looks good. Setting gears fine. Maybe a bit late actually because your clutch is still down. I noticed. Signal's good there. Third gear now, before you have to steer. Last time you tried to get third gear when steering. So there you can get the third gear on that little straight bit there. Right, yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to take the next road on the left. So if you start slowing down a bit, it's just at that 30 sign. So, and you can see this white line, you can't cross that line. You can't cross it. Now look where it takes you to the broken lines up there. Second gear and move in. Now it goes. See, when the lines are faded mm -hmm. uh, and you can't see them, then you're going to need help from either me or the examiner will help you. At the roundabout, we're going ahead. This is a little Stenhouse roundabout. We need to keep left to go ahead. That's the default position to go ahead at roundabouts. Always imagine there's two lanes on a roundabout and you use the left one. Even although there's no white lines, you should still be able to determine the left side of the lane. Good. Now if you look ahead, you can see all the blue signs all the way up the road. There's cars parked on the left. So whenever I see blue signs, I always check the time. And it's right in front of you. Yep. And it's after 9.30 in the morning. You know, 
so keep on the right hand side. So if it's after 9.30 in the morning, you can use the bus lane. You would be expected to use it on a driving test in particular. Not just driving tests. You would be expected to use it all the time. Just check your mirror. He could have made it. Well, uh, he could have, that's for sure, but he certainly didn't. Now stay on the right-hand side just here. See, I need to say that because you would normally go back to the left, wouldn't you? Yep. Now, at the end of the road, turn right. And you know the speed we are, we are on right now? 20. Good, so you spotted the sign, that's good. What gear would you go around the corner? What gear? Second gear. You took the first gear, didn't you? Because you see, I asked the question because you were in third, and you weren't going to do, so that's why I was asking you what gear you would use. So when you've got temporary lights like this, where are you going to stop? Just close to the red. It says when red light shows. It's stop. Right here. Right here. That's correct. So you can move out a little bit. Sometimes these signs are further back, you know. And some people don't read them and they pass them and go up to the red light. Now that's a serious fault on a driving test. Mm -hmm. You see? Because you're passing a traffic signal. At the roundabout, turn left. Now, at some point, I'd like you to, when it's safe, of course, I'd like you just to move over to the right hand lane. Do it well before the next junction. That's good. Well done. At the traffic lights, we will take a right turn here. The only thing I might have uh, done there was because the car was already in the right hand lane behind you, I would have maybe given that vehicle a signal. Yeah? Where you're indicated. I would have maybe indicated right before changing lanes back there. Alright, yeah. You moved over without a signal and there was a car there. Mm -hmm. I realised he was a bit further back, yep. but it was close enough for a signal, I would say. And there's nothing coming towards that. I know the red car's further back, but if we hurry up, we can get past and through there. Good. I mean, naturally, I don't want people to rush and try and beat things and you know, it's just that you had sufficient time. If you delayed any, then you could have got stuck. I will just follow the road straight ahead into the car park. Try and keep moving. You've got a green light, so you're covering the brake. And what it is you're doing is you're actually, you're delaying to allow the lights to go back to red in front of you. Take a left turn into the car park here. Weird. And turn right at the end here. I don't know if you remember what we did this morning, remember with the bay? Yep. So we'll use the one with the bin on it, right? So that, that you can understand references. So if you draw yourself along to the white line, okay. So this is the one we're going into, yes? Now have a good look around and a full lock right with the steering wheel. Full lock right quickly and clutch down now. Full lock, full lock, that's it. And then straighten up now. You should see probably the bin and everything like that in your door yeah. here. Now look at everything so that you can get an idea of how much you're going to steer. Probably steer one turn left. So 
so steer, steer quickly though. Steer quickly. Is that good? Now that'll probably be enough and check to see here. Yeah. Your door handle might just come in contact with the white line, which is fine. And as soon as it gets close to it, yes. check to see that you're just a wee bit more, a bit more, a wee bit more, a wee bit more. Just a wee bit more and then straighten now and look in your door mirror and you should allow the the curb just to disappear. Yeah. I mean I realise you're looking at the 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 the, re the reversing camera there mm -hmm. and it is okay. Yep. It is okay, but it's only okay to check, you know. When you're reversing you use the windows of the car and over your shoulders mm -hmm. and so that you can see everything. Yeah. Right. Because yep. you're getting a, a real good peripheral vision of everything. Right. But when you're looking at just here and here, or just checking the door mirror, mm -hmm. you're not seeing everything. Right. So yep. it's good to utilise everything mm -hmm. at the same time. Right, okay, guy, that's the end of that little uh, drive back down again. Hope you enjoyed it and gave you some hints and tips on how the test is uh, going to assess you uh, coming down because we dealt with nearly everything there. How did you feel about that? Oh, okay. So a lot you, of mistakes there. So, yeah. Right. Well, there wasn't a long full of mistakes coming down, was there? Yep. Coming from the test centre to here, we didn't really make any mistakes. Okay. Because I was telling you what was happening in, in front. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. But there is, going up the way, I didn't say nothing. Right, yeah. And that's where all the mistakes happened, because you didn't see the white lines. You didn't see the traffic light signal. Right. You know? You didn't see... Uh, the lanes that we were needing to use and I had to come in at the last minute and pull your car to the side or turn left or you went into a left lane in one case and I had to go left with you so I was your eyes coming down right yep. so now what you've got to do is you've got to try and project your observations ahead now and see for yourself and read the road like what we do in the UK for sure. the test here makes sense yep all right well, good Take care. I hope, you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. That was just a little planning planning video, really. It's uh -huh. planning ahead in advance. Anyway, I'll switch this off now.